How's it going everybody? It's Christian L here with Eat Like an Apex. We are still on our Southern California food tour series. And today we're going to be headed to Palm Springs, California to check out a place called the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway. The tram in Palm Springs is the largest rotating aerial tramway in the world. It was opened in September 1963 as a way of getting from the floor of the Coachella Valley to near the top of San Jacinto Peak. It'll be our first time going here to the tram. We're gonna check out the, the sights. We're also going to be seeing what we can eat up there as well. Currently staying at my cousin's house in Beaumont, California, not too far away from Palm Springs. With that said, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I hope you find time to subscribe. You'll find a lot of street food inspired content and other food related videos here. With that said, I'm gonna show you everything in this video right now. We are here at the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway. This is my cousin Giovanni, and uh, he is a Giants fan. <laughs> I used to be but, the only Giants fan down here, but now there's a bunch of us. We're gonna head up the mountain, we're gonna take the tram, and then we're gonna find some things to eat later on. So yeah, stick around. All right, just got off the uh, bus. Just went up the hill, maybe about 100 yards. Every time I see the old uh, the tramway carts, I think of uh, an old James Bond film. Oh, oh, oh. Now we're just walking up, following the crowd. Savvy? Hi. 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 So we are in line right now. We're gonna get tickets for the tram ride. Everybody squeeze in towards the red X. Ready, one, two, and three. One more, one, two, and three. All right, guys. All right, so now we're walking into the tram. All right, uh, just uh, please take off the backpacks. So we are headed up the mountain right now. All right, first tower. Okay, here we go. Woo! Whoa. The tramway station is like 9,400, 9,500 feet. 9,500 feet? The summit's 10,500, 10, Okay. So, but we're headed up to about 9,500 feet up the mountain right now. So this is a, wow, yeah. All right, we just made it up the tram. Literally at the top. Well, not, not at the summit. So we were literally in the Palm Springs desert, in the desert area, and then right when we come up the mountain, I mean not not, not right away, it kind of took a, took a little bit. You gotta experience just this altitude, this elevation rising. And then it's like a, a whole different world out here. It's a, it's a forest, like you said. Like you can see here, just... Yeah, that's crazy. That's intense, yeah, how I, magic. Down here to the left, these are uh, new water retaining fields that the, the water districts have put in. So it adds a little bit to the view, but that's something that wasn't there before in the last few years. Looks like the views, like a yucca tree. the landscape a here, it's, a tree. it's definitely spiking. breathtaking. It looks like this. This is a spot that if you're ever coming to Palm Springs, yeah, you, you definitely want to check this spot out here, the tram. Yeah, now we can get something to eat. Let's do this. Oh no, four. <laughs> four, of us. four, sorry. Four, okay. Peaks, Peaks the restaurant. We're in the restaurant area now. Got the burger? Yeah. Thank you. Wow, nice. Huge. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Wow. Oh, yeah. So no, we are here lot, at the Peaks all. restaurant. I got the, the cheddar, the cheddar burger. One thing that really stuck out is those fries. Those fries are not one of your typical usual fries you would get. They're like like moon-shaped fries. Hot sauce. These fries are kind of like, what kind of fries are these? They're called Sidewinder. Sidewinder fries, okay. But again, here's the burger. And let me open that up so you can take a look and see. And just the, a half pound all beef burger with the cheddar cheese, tomato, and the lettuce. That looks spectacular. Yeah. All right, here we go. Take my first bite. Cheers. Yo 
Yes, indeed. Oh, man. I got the burger medium rare. Because that's just the way I like my, my meat. Check that out. You can see that pink in there. No. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, that's like one of those basic elevated hamburgers with not too much in it. You're talking about lettuce, tomato, purple onion, the cheese, and then that meat. What really does stick out is that, that nice chunk of beef right there. Like, that's a, that's a thick piece of meat. Oh, that's fantastic. And I love that toast, too. The bread with it. And Giovanni got a Caesar salad. How you doing there? <laughs> I'm gonna try the fries now. He called it the Sidewinder fries. I'm gonna use that ketchup. Yeah. Oh, mm. oh yeah. I like the, the texture of the fry. It's nice and crispy. And the other thing is, unlike our, our regular fries, this right here, you kind of get a, a nice structural thing going on in your in your mouth. You know, the, the shape of the of these Sidewinders, they practically fit in your mouth like a, like perfectly. Like, yeah? Oh yeah. <laughs> mm. I eat them. Oh yeah. That's fantastic. I'm gonna put some of the hot sauce inside the, uh, the ketchup. All right. I'm gonna chase this bite with the Sidewinder fry dipped into the Tabasco sauce ketchup. Push that with a fry in the sauce. Salad, salad with, with salmon. salmon. Tomato, bacon, cheese crumbles. How is it? Awesome. How's your food, bro? <laughs> Wedge salad. Let's just go. Mmm. <laughs> oh man. I feel the need to chase that with a, a sidewinder fry. Mmm. Tana gave me a piece of salmon. That wedge salad, man. That dressing, I think, I believe that's a blue cheese, right? A blue cheese, I got a piece of bacon on that. I love that crispiness of it, the refreshingness, that leafy feeling. Oh yeah, that goes great. And then you had the salmon here. And I'm just gonna give that a bite. Get some of that. Yeah, just a piece of the salmon. Oh wow. That salmon has been pan fried on the outside, so you get a a crispy texture on the outside and the nice orange pink inner cross section of the salmon. It's a delicious salmon. Yeah. So we just got done eating at the Peaks restaurant. Yeah, there's also a cafe inside there too. So you have the, I, I didn't know that they had a cafe, but they do have it, kind of missed that part. But we had the restaurant, great stuff. And now we're outside of this Mount San Jacinto and it's like a regional, like on a park area. That's right, one of the best trams in the world. Yeah, check it out, it's the location for your hiking, walking, picture taking, and uh, exploring. Right? Yeah. First of all, I'm just like amazed by, as I mentioned earlier, the idea of you're in the desert, and then once you get up to this mountain, you're in a whole new foresty wilderness area, just like that. Really neat, enjoying the sights. The weather too, the weather's completely different. You're talking about uh, down there in Palm Springs, we were at about 102 closing in. Maybe like yesterday was like 111. And then coming up here, it literally feels like, uh, like 65, 70 degrees, maybe. What are your thoughts on this forest area? Oh, it's beautiful, look. Okay, so we're approaching our viewpoint here. The elevation is really good to me, you could tell that uh, yeah, you can definitely get winded from the bottom. Oh, really? So again, just a nice breezy spot where we can just kind of be in the shade and enjoy some of the trees. So the, the trail from the bottom up here is called Cactus to Clouds, which makes sense because you're in the desert. But it does take a lot of training for you to do this hike if you ever do it. I had girlfriends, they'll call me at 2 or 3 in the morning. We decided to stop by a place. It's next to the restaurant. There's a cafe. After our little, uh, little walk, hiking trip down there, it's a uh, fresh fudge. And um, if you come here, they have like nachos, 
pulled pork, chips, drinks, all kinds of stuff, pizza. But since I already ate, I, I grabbed this fudge here. And let me pop it open right now. Okay. Oh, it comes with a little knife. You can see that. And let me go ahead and give it a slice. Cut. Okay. Four. Well, that. Okay, good deal. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> We got the orange sherbet kind. Definitely fudgy. And you got that sherbet flavor in it. That's completely sweet and fudgy. Mm. Now last but not least, I'm gonna drink this Gatorade here. Pineapple mango Gatorade. Oh yeah, oh that's really good. Just got down from the tram the San Jacinto. We're gonna kind of call this this one a wrap. Great one for the books. A great spot to go to if you're looking to enjoy Palm Springs in a different light. This is definitely something that you you don't want to miss. And there's the the restaurant, and the cafe. The food was okay. I enjoyed the meal. A fee to get in, about eight dollars for parking, and then twenty six dollars for adult. A child price too. I think it was like like 15 or 16 bucks. Other than that, have a great time, and that's about it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you do like it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate that. Peace out, one love late. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a thing later.